Much to my chagrin, this next cosmic character that I want to tell you guys about was portrayed by Jeff Goldblum in Thor Ragnarok. If you want to know who I'm talking about, stay tuned to this video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to be talking about another cosmic character. You guys know that I've been on a little bit of a tear with these cosmic entities and I wanted to bring another one forward to you. Uh, thankfully, I didn't actually have to look too far for this next book because I actually had a copy of it in my personal collection already. I picked it up maybe a, a, a year ago and so it's been in my collection for quite some time now. But if you did not get the hint that I dropped in the intro, I am talking about the Grand Master. The Grand Master was actually portrayed by Jeff Goldblum in Thor Ragnarok. I am not necessarily a fan of Jeff Goldblum outside of the work that he did on The Fly back in the day. That was an excellent movie. One of my favorite, favorite uh, sci-fi movies of all time. I definitely enjoyed that. I sort of enjoyed him in Jurassic Park, but um, I hope that if this character appears in a future Marvel movie, maybe they get someone else to portray him. We will see. So, the Grandmaster is a very powerful dude that likes to play games. That is probably the best way to describe him. He is, a, he is an elder of the universe. He is a cosmic entity. He is a master tactician. But when you boil it all down, he is a powerful dude that likes to play games, right? He, he is the master of all games everywhere. And so his big thing is pitting one team against another team to kind of see what kind of outcome can be uh, realized from, from that interaction, from that conflict. And so he basically did that very thing in his first appearance, which was The Mighty Avengers number 69. And again, this is a book that I had in my collection, um, so I didn't have to look too far for it. But if you choose to pick this book up, it is relatively inexpensive for you to add this book to your collection. The I don't know that there was a noticeable uptick in, um, in the availability of the book nor in the value of the book based upon the first appearance in Thor Ragnarok. So who knows whether that will change in the future if he's portrayed in another MCU, mo MCU movie, whether he takes on a different or bigger role, who knows. Um, but if you decide to pick this book up, you can add it to your personal collection relatively inexpensive um, and if something magical happens and you're ahead of the curve, again, as I always say, at the very least, you will have a cool book that you can add to your collection and an and awesome story to also read. So uh, good luck to you guys if you decide to get it. Um, thankfully, I didn't have to buy it, but for the purpose of this video, I probably would have bought it to make sure that I had it on hand because I'm going to give you some advice to say, grab this book. I want to make sure that I follow my own advice. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't checked out the other videos that I created uh, in this series talking about cosmic characters, I highly encourage you to check them out. Thanks a lot.